Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at grid trading and we're going to see the grid system playing out on charts and I'm going to explain the logic that it does as it's opening and closing trades. You'll see all that coming through. The beauty is that we're going to be using a trading period that has generated 300% over one year. So you're going to be looking at very successful grid trading. And I'm going to go through the processes that will make you a fantastically successful grid trader. Very important video this. Let's jump straight into it. Now the first thing to do is to have some background to grid trading. If it's the first time you've ever seen grid trading or your first grid trading video you're looking at, I seriously suggest that you have a look at the video that's on the screen right now. Over a quarter of a million traders have viewed this video. It gives you the complete overview of how grid trading works. I'm not going to be doing that in this video, but I will be showing you the main points of grid trading. And that the main points are shown on the uh, slide there. What happens is uh, you buy and sell at the same time to make sure that every transaction that you do has a chance of success. Secondly, there's the multiplier concept that applies to grid trading where the same transaction, because of the wavy na nature of the market, the same transaction repeats itself over and over again. And that's what we refer to as the grid multiplier. So during grid trading, you will see that at every grid level, a positive trade should be possible. So no matter whether the price goes up or down, a positive trade should be possible. And that's what makes this system a directionless system. You don't need to know which way the price is going to move because you're going to make a, a positive transaction anyway. Now, so to do that, as I've mentioned before, you need to enter a buy and a sell at the grid level that you are in. There might already be a buy or there might already be a sell, in which case you just top it up, but there should be a buy and a sell at the grid level where the price currently is. And that will make a lot more sense when we look at the charts. So what you then do is that when one of those transactions goes in, in a particular direction and becomes positive and reaches the next grid level, you cash that in. In other words, you close that transaction positively and you just leave the other transaction open. And then the scary part of this whole system is there are no stops, but I'm going to show you how we deal with that particular challenge. Now the grid system is not a conventional trading system. In fact, it isn't a trading system. It's an investment system where we take a long-term perspective on trading and you'll see why. Firstly, Trading has to go through a number of phases for it to mature. So the first phase is actually just deciding which currency and which grip, grid size and lot sizing you're going to be using. So that's phase one. Then you start trading. And what you then do is you start building a, a what I call a carpet of open trade. Now that's my own personal expression for this region that contains open trades, open buys and open sales. And you might have 10 open buys and 10 open sales. The whole idea is not to pay for that carpet and to finance that carpet out of gains that you make while you're grid trading. And again, I'm going to show you a fantastic example of how you don't have to pay for that carpet. It pays for itself. Then once that carpet is established, you prune that carpet to make sure that you're not overexposed to open trades. And that will stop your exposure to excessive open trades. And once you've gone through this process, you actually reach a point where you're printing money because your carpet has been paid and the price is moving on your carpet very nicely. You're not incurring any additional losses and, it, and you then start printing money. And that's why it is an investment process. Sometimes this can take a couple of months to happen for you to re reach that maturity level of the investment so that it just 
prints money on a daily basis. And we're going to have a look at that too, and you'll understand a lot more about that from the examples that I'm going to show you. But just remember, this is not traditional scalping or swing trading. It's an investment approach. So in the example that you're going to see, we are going to use the euro pound and it's going to be trading over a period of one year from the 1st of September last year to the 1st of September this year. Just a, a random period, nice and long. It covers a year and we're going to be looking at only using four significant settings. In fact, most probably only two because the one setting happened not to have any impact on the, that trading that we're looking at over there. So the first one is the gap size. Now the gap size is the difference between one grid level and the next grid level, the size of that grid. It's normally referred to in pips. That's the one of the settings we're going to be looking at. And the lot sizing is obviously the size of the transactions that you start entering. Then the other one is the maximum difference between buyers and sellers. There's a, there's a protective setting that says if your buyer I start out running your cells, uh, then certain actions will happen. You'll either reverse the direction of your trade, you'll either hedge it, or there's a whole lot of other uh, transactions, that, the options that can happen. Firstly, the, the currency. The currency is the most important. You want to use a currency that has low volatility and does not trend. And I'll show you how we selected the euro a pound for for this particular trading and then the lot sizing depends really on on the size of your account i'll cover gap sizing and lot sizing in future videos but you will see the lot sizing that we use and then the maximum difference between buy and sells that's a setting that has been used but not applied during this this particular trading okay so here's why we selected the euro pound you want a currency that is not going to suddenly go and do a 500 pip trend so what we've done is we've looked at the euro pound over the last year using a standard deviation channel so the standard deviation channel creates an average for the year and then it says how much it deviates from that average over the year and here you can see on this chart that the total range covered by the trading has been 270 pips on a non-horizontal basis so this is not horizontal it's slightly not not but it doesn't really matter we just need to know the the size of the channel and it's 270 pips so if historically this currency has never moved more than 250 uh, 270 pips we that gives us a clue as to the gap sizing that we can use but also the risk that's involved there are other currencies and uh, the the pound yen for instance has 10 times that so in other words the, the, the pound yen has traveled 2000 700 pips in in the year so it's a lot more dangerous and that's why we've selected the euro pound key to trading the grid system now previously i mentioned the carpet that you're investing in and that is the number of open deals that will be trading on a continuous basis there'll always be open deals so uh, uh, who's going to fund those those open deals is it going to come out of your account or is it going to come out of profits now on the screen here you can see the income growth now the income growth is very cons consistent you can see it's almost a completely straight line and in the example the income growth was in fact eighty five thousand dollars over the year so that just goes up and you can see the the actual angle of this particular growth now then we have a look at the open deals now this is a bit tricky because it jumps around a lot but the open deals are basically the difference between your income that you've earned and the equity balance in other words if you were to close the trans the, the 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 account straight away what kind of balance would you be getting uh, it's the difference between that the income you've earned and the equity that you are entitled to and that is basically the, the the size of your carpet now i've just drawn a straight line through that and if you look at the 
angle of that straight line you can see it, it it goes up which is a good thing so your carpet is growing and growing and but it is going up at a much slower rate because the angle is smaller than your growth rate so when that happens you're printing money simple as that when those two rates go up but in the beginning you'll see that they actually battled a little bit to get going you can see the 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 rates were in fact negative at one stage so it meant the account had to fund those and then slowly the income started uh, financing the open trades and that's what we want we want the income to finance the trade it takes a while for that to happen and that is why this is an investment rather than a trading technique so you you invest and uh, it starts trading and starts funding itself and your income starts funding your carpet as it were the paid carpet is basically that straight line that I've drawn or the green line I've just averaged it out up to that point okay so so uh, having open deals is not something we're trying to run away from it's in fact something we want because that gives us the trading range that we're going to be trading in make a lot more sense as we move on and then any of these concepts uh, these concepts are completely new to a lot of people just re-watch this video over and over again or watch that initial video that i mentioned earlier in in this presentation so just re-watch until the principles sink in and because they are quite different and sometimes need a paradigm shift okay so here is the account that we're going to be looking at and i say this is a flawed account because it doesn't actually represent reality but it is good enough to show you that the results are pretty good so the overall results here are uh, 30,000 uh, starting with a 10,000 account and therefore we've made a 300% three, th return on our money over that year. We've entered uh, 1,350 trades roughly and then we've got, and this is where the flaw comes, that figure should actually be a hundred percent and I'll show you why it's not and that figure should also be a hundred percent because because this is a no loss trading system you don't make losses unless they're intentional and i'll show you why how intentional losses get made um, so we see that consecutive wins 1300 trades were consecutively positive and only right at the end there were 33 so that's what you're going to be looking at now and i must just stress here this is an educational video don't get too hooked up in the results i have turbocharged the results to make the points that i want to in these results pruning has not been applied although the the settings say that the pruning has not applied and the reason being if you look at this particular scenario if the current price is there and it has 10 trades open on the top side and 10 trades open on the bottom side the difference between buys and sells is zero so no pruning will happen but there's another way of pruning so what you would do when when the price is in the middle and you've got a lot of open deals at the top and a lot of deals at the bottom and they more or less the same number let's say this is 10 and that is 10 or that is 9 and this is 10 or this, that is 9 and this is 10 you then should consider pruning and the reason being is that let's say the price starts trending slowly downwards in a sell motion you want to get rid of those buy trades that uh, that are there so what you do is you you just strip a few layers of the open deal so there for instance there's four buys that you could quite easily just get rid of and four cells that you could quite easily get rid of make your carpet smaller it reduces risk you do take the losses and this is where you will make losses in the system but remember those losses are already accounted for in that you've paid for that part of the of the carpet in income so all you're saying 
I'm going to take some income and reduce my risk by closing those deals. It doesn't really affect your results at all, but pruning has not been applied in this particular one, and it is a very important one. I've tried to keep this example as simple as possible. Just be aware that this opportunity does arise now and then. I'm going to actually show you that in the actual trading. All right, the other thing that is unrealistic in the results that are shown is that this is an ongoing investment. So it go, carries on and carries on and carries on for a year, two years, three years. And you have this carpet that you've paid for and the price just trades in that particular carpet. So, so what happened in this example, for instance, is I said, oh, We've got a cash out investment in. So, so all of a sudden, uh, in, uh, in spite of having $85,000 cashed in, uh, we then closed our carpet, which is unrealistic. You wouldn't do that in real life. You close your carpet, there it gets closed, and that's where we've now reduced to 30000 profit. If we just continued into, into the next year and the next year after that, this wouldn't happen. Uh, and, and the bad thing about closing a couple, you've got to start all over here where the risk is most probably, uh, the risk of having to use your own money is quite high. So that is why I'm saying the results I'm showing you is flawed because there are artificial things that have happened. We haven't pruned and we have and we've actually closed our carpet that we're paying for the other thing is that a lot of brokers will say okay if you have 10 buys and you have 10 sales in, in fact you have no investment in in the currency that you're trading and therefore there's no overnight char uh, charges so th this is another reason why pruning is quite good you can um, you can balance your open deals to have no overnight charges and not all brokers do that but but most do okay so what really happens here is that a lot of traders then say oh uh, fantastic results i want to use this these those settings and here are the settings i'm not hiding them away from you the year are them are the settings most probably 80 percent of the settings were not used because what happens with these eas is that people try and get them more perfect and more perfect and more perfect and they add things and in those days i was very bad i let people add what they think is a good thing to the eas and just jumble this ea into one massive heap of settings whereas you can trade this ea with the ones that i've highlighted so all you have to tell it is the, the maximum difference between buys and sells uh, and uh, what you want to do when that happens and uh, in this example uh, we've said we want to trade with a trend so if the trend's going up and suddenly there are a lot of sales 12 sales open it would just uh, the next transaction would ignore buys and only trade in the direction of this of the trend uh, then uh, the uh, amount of equity that you want to use. A lot of people have my probably a 20,000 account. They say, I only want to risk 10,000 on it. So that gives you the, the ability to only block off a certain amount for your, um, of your account. Uh, and then it says, uh, do you want to do manual lot sizing? And that's what we selected for this particular one. Uh, we've enabled uh, buy transactions and we've said, okay, we're going to risk half a a lot on each transaction so there we are that's the lot size that's being used for this particular example and the gap size is going to be eight pips and then all you have to do once you've done the buy settings those are the buy settings all you have to do is you have to say all right the sell settings are the same and that's basically what happens there you automatically use the buy settings in for your sell settings so can you see how simple it is we have ignored all of those other uh, settings that there are very complicated ones and i've just gone for the meat of the, the grid trading system just another point no time frame is needed here because we're not using indicators so this system in fact can it can actually run without charts because you don't need to look at the charts it, it's it's a grid system it just does it by itself so uh, but it's nice looking at the charts to see the transactions but uh, it doesn't use indicators so no time frame is required 
And I was just warning you, we're going to be looking at the trading in the next minute. This is the final result of the trading. There are just 1,000, almost 400 transactions that happen. They're going to be happening very fast. They're going to be open transactions all over the place, closed transactions. And it's, it's going to be a little bit messy. But um, what you need to do is if you get a bit lost, just stop the video, rewind it a little bit, and then relook at what's happened. And then uh, it will start making a bit more sense. But if you stay, understand the basic concept right in the beginning, then all of this will make a lot of sense. So on, on, on the screen here, you can see the grid levels, uh, the transactions that have been opened and closed and so on. And let's go and have a look at this trading right from the beginning. Okay, so here we are on the trading chart. It's the 1st of September 2023. Uh, we start with an, a buy and a sell. And uh, to make this a little bit tidier, I'm going to remove the the chart grid and uh, then I'm going to activate the trading when I activated the trading there are the grid levels that are going to that will be used and there the, the price has jumped to the next grid level now so let's analyze oops it's going a bit fast what has happened here it started with a buy and a sell the price went down to the next level it then cashed in the sell positively and created another buy and a sell at that level because that is the how the system works you have to create a potential of a positive trade at every grid level so what then happened is that the price went up the buy was cashed in and what we now have is we have three open transactions. We have the sell over here, where my cursor is. We have a buy and a sell open over there. The old sell was cashed in, but there's a new sell, and we still have that original buy, so there's no need to open another buy. So we still have the opportunity to cash in should the price go up. We have the opportunity to cash in if the price goes down. And we've made a nice profit. We've cashed in two of uh, uh, two legs of this grid and we only have one leg negative. So this this buy uh, this sell that's there is negative. So we're actually already in profit. And you can see the profit here. Here is the profit, uh, the balance on the account, 10,110, and the equity balance, which is actually the true profit, which is $10,049. So there is our profit already after two basic transactions. So let's move on, and I'm going to try and keep the, the speed uh, at a controllable pace. And there we go. So now it's, it's moving on. And this... And this might go very slow. We're using um, uh, quality data. And because of that, the trading happens on, on a very slow basis. So I'm going to try and speed it up to a point where it becomes a little bit easier to use. There we are. Okay, so it's trading sideways at the moment. Uh, we have cashed in two transactions. And let's just see. And this happens quite often overnight, the, the sideways movements uh, are sped it up a little bit so we can get out of this particular phase in the market and let's see how it goes now i've sped it up quite a bit and i'll just have to watch for the next transaction oh almost almost reached another point there we are okay so so now we uh, uh, have a movement to to the top to uh, buy and a sell has been opened and the original buy that was opened right originally has now been cashed in so we've got three three cash ins and we have two open trades we have the uh, sell down here another sell down there and we have the buy and a sell over there so let's move on and see what happens next oh okay all right, so now we've uh, the same thing has happened. It's now trending upwards. We now have a buy and a sell over there, and we have three open sells at the bottom. 
Okay, so now that sell has been cashed in. So what we have at that level is only a buy. We have a buy and sell in there because we, we want to cash one of them in. And we have two sells there. So, so as you can see, there are single transactions where successful cash-ins have happened. And then where the price is currently, there's always a buy and a sell. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so now that the sell from the top has been cashed in and a new buy has been opened because there was a missing buy at that particular level. So that's how it, it works. Uh, it, it always tops up at the level where the price is now to make sure there's always a buy and a sell. And the other thing that's happened now, we are developing our carpet. We now have two buys on our carpet and one sell. And they have been paid for because our equity is positive, as you can see there. So that's where I'm saying, let your profits pay for your carpet. So as this go on, goes on, the carpet will grow and grow, and hopefully the profits will pay for the, the carpet. Remember, this is an investment technique that will go over a year or two so we're watching we're still on the first of september the first day of the trading so we're in the development stage where we're developing our carpet and we're having it paid for us that's really the phase we're at we're not overly concerned if if there's a huge lo uh, equity loss or something like that we want to start paying for our carpet developing a bigger and bigger carpet so here we go again okay Okay, another grid level hit and another income gained, another grid level hit, another grid level hit and um, I'll just stop there. Now the profitability is starting to, um, uh, st starting to grow. Here we have $400 in our account and our equity is now 235 so we are now in profit and we have a healthy carpet that is in place at some stage the carpet will grow too fast and it might eat up that positive equity but we're not concerned about we're looking at the long term remember that steady growth of income that's going to kick in which it, which is kicking in a steady straight growth and all we want to make sure is that the growth is funding our open trades it's a very unusual trading system it's uh, again i must say it's not trading it's actually investment system okay let's go we're now on the 4th of september there are some cash ins that have happened and uh, let's just continue with this. At the moment, there are a carpet is only three levels big, so uh, well, actually four levels big, which is quite a small one. We we're looking most probably at about ten on each side, so we're looking at about twenty levels, and therefore um, we have to systematically cash in to pay for those 20 open levels that we're actually aiming at there's another one another cash in that's happened there and uh let's just see how it happens all right it's going to touch that up oh, there we are we cash that one in and created a, a buy and a sell at that level and uh, we've cashed that one in and created a buy and a sell at that level and let's just let it run and it's now we're now on the 4th of september only two days after we've started and uh, the uh, carpet hasn't really developed much let's hope that it gets bigger and to get bigger it must go south now we now have uh, profits in place to to finance most probably two three or uh, two or three levels Obviously, the, uh, this trading is going to be pretty long and uh, I will accelerate the trading at some stage so you get, don't get too bored. There's another cash in, there's another cash in, there's another cash in. Uh, and uh, so uh, 
what you can do is you can fast forward to uh, interesting areas as you go along but this is the process of creating finance for open deals we literally want a whole lot of open deals and there we are we're now creating uh, new open deals and let's just have a look uh, we now have one two three four five six uh, um, open open levels on our carpet our um, equity is still a nicely positive with six open deals remember we're aiming at about 20 or so to get a nice healthy carpet where the price can move freely and we can just print and print and print money so uh, this is the, the the phase that i mentioned it is the carpet creation phase and then when the carpet is created, then the, it's a case of keeping it under control, keeping it at about 10 to 6 open trades on both sides, always on both sides. You don't want to, to prune um, uh, at the edge of, car, of the carpets. Okay, so now what, what's happening is it's trading in the middle of the carpet. You can see there buys open and sells open. It's now moving off the carpet, as you've just seen. They are now seven or oh, yeah seven um levels open so that so things are looking up our carpet's starting to expand uh, we are still in positive equity so we on um the levels are being Uh, funded by equity which is a good thing we don't have to fund the, buy this carpet it's being bought by profits and let's have a look now the equity is uh, going a bit thin let's see what happens that's what happens as the the carpet expands the equity goes down and up all the time it hasn't cashed in a deal for a long time there's a cash in um, and uh, another cash in another cash in <laughs> and our carpet is growing very nicely so we now have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, 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 open levels in, in our carpet and when the price goes into the carpet so it moves from the edge of the carpet into the middle that is where money gets printed you're just printing money all the time and your equity and the equity now is up by 700 dollars now we can afford to fund those expensive edges of the carpet but while we're not at the edge of the carpet it is just printing money by cashing in every time it, cr it creates a uh, um, it touches a grid line at a senior moment there okay here we go how are we doing um, another cash in now it's just cashing now now we're just making money we we're printing uh, we, we're in the printing of money's phase it's not going to last forever we will go to out to the edges we will start creating a, a carpet of about 20 open trades but it's nice to cash in all that money have it in our back pockets when the price go starts moving off the carpet and creating new levels and new levels and the trick is to never go into negative equity uh, once that happens there's a whole lot of cash ins that have happened there um, and let's have a look um, while it's on the carpet it's just cashing in money <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, we're actually now up one thousand dollars in equity so we our reserve for carpet uh, level purchasing is just going up and up it's a different concept to normal trading it takes a lot of getting used to it's a, a shift in the way of thinking about trading now you can see those tra cash ins that you've seen there are just free money <laughs> they basically just free money when the when the price is between the top of a carpet and the, uh, the bottom of the carpet it is literally printing money but it's still early days we still want uh, there will be a time where we must probably get to about 20 open trades
and then I'll show you when we prune. So when we've got 20, as you've seen before, you wait for it to get to the middle of the 20. So 20, uh, 10 buys, 10 sells. And at that point, what you should do, and this won't happen now, is you then prune. You take maybe two or, th two or four of the upper transactions and two and a four and close them. Doesn't affect your profitability. There we are. We're just printing money at the moment still. Um, the equity is at a, a healthy level, but it is edging off the carpet. Can you see it's trying to go to the upper levels of the carpet there? Oh, now it's come back in again. Okay. And that's all good. That's, that's, while it's in the carpet, it's fine. I think it might have moved off the carpet right now. But let's see. There's a buy and a sell right on the edge of the carpet. So that's where it it will... Oh, there we are. Okay, now it started expanding the carpet. That, that's what's happened there. And we wanted to expand. It's, our equity has dropped because we've now investing our made profits into a bigger carpet. <laughs> um, all right, so let's have a look at the number of, of open deals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so we and now it's developing very nicely, and, and it's also creating a nice big carpet for the the price to move on. Equity at the moment is still positive, so we've created a carpet. Of uh, I don't know, I can't remember now about uh, 14 open trades, and it is now moving into the middle of the carpet again, and that's the magical time. That is when the money gets printed because it's just printing. We've already paid for the carpet, so therefore it's it's just printing money on this carpet. It's a weird uh, philosophy this one, but uh, let's just continue. I'm just waiting un uh, until we get about a 20 uh, pip carpet and then what I'll do is I'll uh, stop commentating. I'll just let the trading run and you can just look at the trading as it goes on. Uh, the uh, main place to look is at the equity uh, balance. You can see that equity balance is growing and growing and jumping around quite a lot. As it gets to the edge of the carpet, now it's in the middle, then it grows tremendously and um, the equity balance you'll see will grow and grow continuously uh, uh, and that is what we want to see so now the price is in the middle of the carpet again uh, it's just printing money uh, the um, and we have to wait for it to sort of go to the edge of the carpet the edge of this this is the most beautiful place to be because you literally have paid for your carpet and and it's just printing money one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen um fourteen levels uh, and you can see there's the seven levels above that we can still go to and there's the seven levels below but while it's in the middle it is going to be printing money So there's, so there's a lot of patience required here because the objective is not to make money at this stage. Remember, we actually made $30,000 out of this trading and we're only at 2000 The objective now is to pay for the carpet. <laughs> so um, what we're doing here is we're building up reserves for when it shoots out either the top of the carpet or the bottom of the carpet. Um, there's the top of the carpet and uh, it's close to that right now. And we built just building up reserves so that when it shoots out there, we can afford to buy another level of the carpet and another level of the carpet, and another level of the carpet. So <laughs> that's the philosophy of this way of trading. You might never have come across a, a, a strange way of trading the forex market as you see right now. Okay, another cash in. I, I'm not really commenting on the cash in. They're happening so often now. And as it goes into the middle, the cash in just pile up. It just piles up money for investing in a bigger carpet. That's, in the end, you want a carpet of about between 20 
and 16 open trades and if you can maintain the size of that carpet prune it if it if it becomes necessary out oh, there we are we're on the edge of the carpet right now uh let's see if it actually oh there it shot out out the car it's created a new level and it looks like it's created another new level so we might actually be at about 16 at the moment let's see it seems like it's it's shot out the equity is still positive so i'm not sure it looks like it might have there might have been a fast move in the market where it skipped over certain trades there we are it's back in again and uh, we now have three six nine twelve four, 14 open open trades there as I say, we're aiming for a carpet of about 20. And then when 20 is reached, we'll start, which wouldn't have, which not going to happen in this particular presentation, but we will start pruning. But now it's going back into the carpet. Again, as I say, that's where you want it. You want it to go into the middle of the carpet. Carpet is paid for every single time that the price moves eight pips you cashing in you cashing in and it's just the most magnificent feeling when you are printing money and this is what's happening right now very much dependent on what currency you use we have selected the euro pound because it is a a sideways currency you, you can get really hurt there, there was a unexpected jump you can see it actually didn't open um uh, trades as it jumped over some of the uh, grid sizes and you can see there's a, a gap there it will be it will get filled by the uh, robot there we are I think we're getting close to 20 uh, open trades now uh, let's wait for it to finish off one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, and there are two missing ones which will be full. So we, we're getting to our 20 soon. There we are. Now, now we should be pretty close. And um, it's it hasn't cost us any money to create that carpet of open trades. We have a positive equity situation. And now if the... Oops, there's another seemingly jump there. Let's have a look. Yeah, another jump. I think these trades up oh, there we are it's going up so so here's a trend developing and uh, let those ones just get filled and in fact what's happened here is that um, that the um, equity is now down to eight hundred eight thousand dollars so we are now paying for uh, elements of the carpet and uh, that's not the end of the world we don't want to pay too much the equity is now down to eight thousand uh, three hundred and those gaps need to be filled and uh, hopefully they will get filled and we're looking here at uh, let's see three uh, we're close to uh, we're close to 20 open trades let's see what happens okay okay I don't know why the deals aren't printing on this side but uh, it's not too serious we'll we'll um, lots of cash ins happening there as you can see um, it is on the edge of the carpet, which is a, a dangerous place to be, but let's just ride this one through. Well, I'm hoping to reach the stage where um, I can illustrate some pruning, and that will be when there are roughly 
10 buys and 10 sells. A 10 is just a, a number that I mentioned. It could be 8, could be 8 on other side, could be 12 on other, uh, either side. But uh, uh, that would be the point that I would recommend some pruning of the carpet to a more controllable level. You want it to be between 8 and 10 open trades. Uh, 12 gets a little bit too big. But at the moment, uh, it looks like it's going back into the meat of the carpet. There we are. Uh, and while it's doing that, you are printing money because you've now paid for the other parts of the of the carpet. So there we are. It's it's uh, trading on the edge of the carpet uh, at the moment, which is uh, tricky. But let's see how um, how that goes. Mm. Equity is quite low at the moment, but um, and that's what happens at the final stages of the of the carpet creation. You, um, uh, 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 especially if you're on the edge like that, but we'll see it coming back to the to the middle again. And okay, so the price is heading for the middle of the carpet again, and that's where you want to be. Uh, at that point, you are printing money, and this is that is where it's going. We now have uh, six buys at the top and we have probably, let's have a look at the cells, six buys and one, two, twelve, hmm, looks like about 14 or 15 cells, maybe more. And so you want the price to get into the middle of that bunch, the same amount of buys, same amount of cells. And that that is when the printing of money will occur. That's almost there. So already the uh, equity is nice and high again. We've got a huge uh, blanket that we've paid for. Uh, the equity is um, over ten thousand, so it's positive. And that so that's the the first phase of the of the trading is to create this blanket where the price can move freely and cash in on every every move of the market uh, and you have paid for that blanket so it's great uh, the next phase is going to be the uh, banking uh, the, the the pruning phase which i'm not going to show you because it's not going to happen here and then we're going to be looking at um and then I'm just going to let it run because uh, we know for sure that the balance has gone up to about $80,000. $80, it's only $20,000 right now. And we know that the equity ha will have effectively gone up to about $30,000. But it will have gone up to about $40,000, but the, uh, there was a late negative move here at the end of this so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm actually going to be leaving the commentary side of the video and i'm going to just let you watch the trading uh, i will put a, a i'll try and put a magnifying glass on the equity balances because that's really where the money uh, the, the results are shown the the balance on the account plus the equity balance that uh, comes into place um, and then you can watch the trading as it happens but i think you've got a good feel now of how it works it, uh, there's a buy and a sell at each uh, grid level where the price is so that it uh, makes sure that you'll have a buy uh, a positive uh, uh, transaction upwards or downwards and then um, uh, the, uh, as you can see open trades get created when the price um, moves away from that particular area like you've got a whole lot of buys there and you've got a whole lot of sells there and that is how the whole process just continues on a, on a continuous basis you've got your pa your paid carpet now the uh, price is moving into the middle of the carpet we've got nice positive equity everything is looking good uh, at this stage now we started on the 1st of september it is only the beginning of october so what we've done here is we've only covered one month of trading so on second thoughts i'm not going to push through all the way 
uh, on this particular trading. It's just going to take too long. But what I will do is I will try and show you highlights of the trading as they happen. Um, I will keep on running, but I'll 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 edit the video so that uh, you only from now on will see highlights of the particular trading in steps maybe at the end of every month um, end of October end of November end of December type of snapshots to give you an idea of uh, the, the the progress on the trading okay I've done a fast forward to uh, December and as you can see the price is more or less in the middle of the carpet and it has been printing money since I last spoke to you. The balance is now 42,000 and the equity is almost 30,000. So it just shows you how the money can just pour in when the price is in the middle of a carpet that has effectively been paid for. Okay, I've done a fast forward to February and here we see the price at the bottom end of the carpet but with a very healthy balance. So the balance is 54000 and the equity balance is $35,000. Really good results. Right, another fast forward. We fast forward to the end of March and the account balance is 58000 The equity balance is around about 40000 It shows you the prices trading on the carpet beautifully and cashing in and just cashing in. Okay, another fast forward and the price is still trading on the bank beautifully. Equity has now gone to $45,000. And uh, the balance is now $61,000. You can see the benefit of developing a, a blanket and trading on top of it. At this stage, again, I must stress, uh, pruning was not done while this video was being made. So this would be another ideal time to prune right down um, and have only about 10 or 12 op open buys and 10 or 12 open sells. Right now we fast forwarded to June and you can see that the balance hasn't improved that much and the equity hasn't improved that much. Equity is at the, in the region of 42,000 and the balance is in the region of 66,000. And why has that happened? It's because the price has moved to the edge of the blanket. It's almost at the point where it can topple off the blanket and start more levels to be activated. Again, I must stress, we should have pruned a large portion of these buy trades away earlier, but that's what happens at this stage. At this age, the settings haven't allowed for that. Right, we're at the beginning of July. The the balance is now 70,000 and the equity balance is about 39,000. The blanket has increased tremendously again. And in spite of this huge balance, the equity balance is still a very robust. Okay, it's the beginning of August and we in our ideal situation. The price is in the middle of a huge blanket. We are printing money. The balance, I think, is about the balance is 76,000 and the equity balance is 47,000. So this is the grid rent multiply playing out beautifully and the only improvement that can be made here is that we, if we had been able to apply some pruning in the process. But you can see this is a huge blanket there and it is all paid for and we are printing money because the price is in the middle of that blanket and every time it touches a grid level it cashes in more cash more cash so there was a strong downward movement just at the end of the month and here are the final results really good results a 300 percent return 1,350 trades and here are the results you saw earlier. The beauty is we've, we've got this massive carpet that is paid for. 
and the the more time the price spends in the middle of the carpet the more we print money and it is a beautiful system if we add the pruning that i mentioned earlier it becomes safer and safer the blanket becomes closer to the uh, price action that takes place and i hope this has shown you the benefits of grid trading now the trading that you've just seen is uh, has been done by the grid trend multiplier you can go to the web page and read more ab more about the grid trend multiplier there are some really special deals on that one at the moment and please read the description of this video very carefully there'll be a lot of resources in the description a lot of uh, additional videos that you can have a look at if you're interested in grid trading and remember, grid trading is all about non-directional trading. You don't have to have the know the direction. The because of the, of the wavy nature of the market, transactions repeat themselves over and over again, and this buy and sell system works pretty well, as you've seen in this example. Please watch out for any future vi videos about grid trading, which I'll be making pretty soon. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.